My name is George Castro. Welcome to my journey. Moving, baby! Let's go, let's go. Hey guys, how are you? This is George Castro the fourth. I'm the youngest real estate agent in the world. I'm here in beautiful New York, the best city in the world. And I'm talking to you guys because I want to share my journey. I want to share my experience, my passion for real estate. It's something that I grew up loving because I believe that you have to love what you do. If you don't love what you do in life, your ceiling's only so high and you're not going to get anywhere. I think one of the biggest rules is to love what you do. And in my case, I love real estate. I love business. So that's why I'm here talking to you guys to share it. On this channel, I'm going to be talking about tips, tricks, advice, everything business related and you guys are going to be seeing my journey from a different perspective i'm 18 years old so i like to think that i'm different i'm so excited to share my journey through real estate through business with you guys it's going to be an amazing ride and i hope you guys learn a lot and take away a lot from it let's start <laughs> <laughs> A big phrase that I often hear in business, which I think is very true by the way, is you have to love what you do. And you really do have to love what you do, what you do. because if you don't love what you do, if you don't truly love it, you're only going to go so high. Your ceiling's only so high. As to oppose that if you really love what you do, if you're passionate about what you do, you're going to be able to take that next step. I've seen people, for example, who enter a less so good business, so to speak, and do better than someone entering a better business because they love it more. If you don't love what you do, any rational person would give up after the first few weeks or months of failure if they don't truly love what you do. To be successful, you have to fail. That's the nature of life, that's the nature of the world. If you're not willing to fail, then you're not going to become successful. Sometimes I even think to myself, I wish I could fail just to see who's really loyal, to see who's going to stand by my back, to prove everyone wrong. Failure is an amazing thing because it then gives you the opportunity to lead to success. Once you truly love what you do in business, now it's time to think big. Expand your horizons. Think outside the box. I see a lot of small-minded people, and I like to call them small-minded people because they think like they're in a box. They think just like everybody else. You have to be different. If you want to change the world, if you want to be great, you have to think different from everyone else. Because if you think the same as everyone else, if you think just like the rest of the flock, you're going to be just like them. So think big. Expand your horizons. Say, for example, you're a barber. Be the best barber in the world. Have the biggest brand in the world. Think big. And if you love what you do, thinking big shouldn't be a problem. Always look to think big. Oh, isn't this city beautiful? Isn't this city beautiful? This is the best city in the world. New York City. Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. The best city in the world. Beautiful New York City. Post-pandemic, and look, we're rocking. Rocking and rolling. Amazing. Right now we're on our way to the edge in New York. It's currently 3.35. We have our appointment for 3.30. We're stuck in traffic as you can see, but I think it's important for you guys to know more about me, know more about my story. Ever since I was a little kid, I always loved real estate. I always loved business. My father owns a real estate company, Premier Homes. Just seeing people make money, people loving what they do, people enjoying themselves in business, just really gave me that passion, that drive. I've been around it my whole life. And like I said earlier, I feel like I was born for this. Me seeing influencers, real estate influencers talk about their life, you know, how amazing, how unique of a life it is doing real estate. Like I said, I'm only 18, I'm getting into the business. So hopefully you look on this, at this video 10 years from now, and you say, wow, this is where it all started. So I'm excited for the journey, uh, and we'll update you when we get to the edge. Oh hell no. We're moving. We're moving baby! We are moving. All the sinners crawl, so they dug your grave in the masquerade looking cold and out in It's close. Let's go. We're on our way to the edge, we're in. We're gonna go up right now. Follow me. Right here we are, the top of New York City. Follow me. It's 
So guys, here we are at the edge in New York. I was talking about thinking big earlier. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This is it. This is New York City. And something that I often like to talk about is persistence, persistence in real estate. To be in the real estate business, you have to be persistent. If you're not persistent, if you're not motivated, you're not gonna get anywhere. Because what I often see is the first four to five months for a new real estate agent is tough, it gets hard. And at times it can seem very unmotivating. So if you're not persistent, if you don't really want it, you're not gonna get it. Because those who are willing to take that extra step, go the extra mile, are those who end up always succeeding and reaching the highest level. So you have to be persistent, you have to be resilient, because this is a world full of many people and if you're not one of the most resilient, strong, gritty ones out there, you're gonna be done. Come over here. New Yorker, you have the Empire State Building, you have everything. The whole world revolves around New York. And it's really cold, that's why my words aren't coming out that right. We've been in this 20 degrees weather, very high, but uh, beautiful, beautiful over here. New York, baby. Hopefully one day I'm gonna own all these buildings. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is just the first of 100, 200 vlogs. I'm gonna be giving a lot of tips, tricks, motivational advice. So, Kevin, we're done. End of vlog.